Good morning. Today is Tinkering Tuesday with Miss Suzanne. I hope you will like today's idea. What you will need is a roll of yarn or at least a string that's about a yard long. You will need a measuring stick. You will need a coffee filter. You will need some tape. I like the blue one because it really sticks well. And a scissor. And a marker to get started. I'm putting most of this away right now because we're going to start with the filter. You stretch your filter out like this and fold it in half. And I make a little dot right here and a little dot right there. Then I open my filter up and I fold it in half, matching my dots up right, <clears throat> right there. And I make a dot here and here. So now my filter is laying in front of me and it has four dots. Time for cutting the string. I'm going to move the filter aside for a minute so you can really see what you need to do. I'm taking the string and I'm starting at zero, holding it with my finger and pulling it all the way to nine. Mark it with my finger and cut it with a scissor. Be careful not to cut your fingers. And I'm going to do that again. Zero to nine. So now I have two strings that are the same size. That's pretty important. I can put my ruler aside. Now I'm going to take the tape. I'm going to cut little pieces. Not too big because if I cut them too big it will make our, what we are building is a parachute, it will make our parachute too heavy. I need four pieces. Again, be careful with the scissor. Don't get too close to your fingers. All right, four pieces of tape. So the, the coffee filter kind of curled up this way and that's how you want it in front of you. You're gonna take your first string and a piece of tape and you put your string across the tape or stick about on the sticky side just like this and then you attach it to the first corner right here or the first dot that you made now this is where you really have to pay attention I'm gonna get the other string out of the way so I'm gonna get the other tape and I'm going to put it right here, just like I did the first one on the sticky side. And I'm going to go just a little ways around my coffee filter and attach it right on that other black dot. So now I have a little loop here. I'm going to do the same thing with the other string. Piece of tape. Attach it to my dot on the other side of the string, piece of tape, attach it to my dot. All right, it kind of looks like a face mask, but that's not what we are making. So now that you have your strings attached, and you, if you hold it up, it kind of looks like a parachute. If you kind of catch the air in it, you can feel catching the air. It's a little bit hard to show on a video. 
No, I have, oh, I forgot the main part. You have to have a Lego guy too. Well, I have this little Lego guy and he's gonna be my parachuter. And I had a bit of a hard time attaching him. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. But I want you to see if you can maybe figure out a better, better way to do it. So I put one arm around my string, just like this, and pulled it really tight. But I have to make sure it's kind of in the middle. And then I do the other side. So he's right in the middle of the parachute. I'm pulling it a little bit into his joint so it stays. Well, this is, if I parachuted him like this, he kept falling off. So I wondered, how could I attach him? I came up with one idea, but I bet you have many more ideas. So I kind of grabbed all the strings on his back, just like this. Whoops, he lost his hat, but he doesn't need his hat. And then I used one of these little taps that you use for bread bags. And I clipped it on all of the strings at once. So now he's attached and he looks like he's wearing a little backpack. I don't know if you can see him, but that's what he looks like. So to parachute him, you will have to hold the little Lego guy, just like this, and then toss him in the air. And hopefully he will come down very nice and for a soft landing. You might have to practice throwing him. You might have to practice adjusting your strings and keeping him attached. That's where your tinkering brain needs to come in and figure out how to do this best. If you have any climber in your backyard, you can, and mom and dad say it's okay, you can toss him off your climber just by holding him like this and then dropping him. I hope this idea will work for you. Have fun trying. Don't give up too easily because it might not work the first time but keep working at it. We will tinker again next Tuesday. Bye-bye.